What's up, buddy? How are you? How are you going, boss? I'm good, man. Uh, how are you feeling? You had a few minutes to digest and think about your performance. How did you feel it went? Yeah, it was... I'd pretty much done what the game plan, the coaches put in place. And um, just got, had to execute it. A lot of... Um, the coaches put a lot of effort in. A lot of... Um, helped me with my mindset leading up to the fight. And uh, you just saw what I can do. With a hard-hitting guy like that, is the game plan just take him down and then even if he can get back up you're eventually going to wear those muscles out and take it out of the cardio yeah but um it sounds like sounds like that but it's not easy because i'm ga i'm getting tired too <laughs> taking him down so i just trusted that because we've done we train hard we train very hard so i knew if i'm tired he's going to be fucking sorry about the language but you're allowed to yeah he's going to be a lot more tired than me because that's one of my strengths is my cardio. I can keep pushing for three rounds. Obviously, I got tired, but just with experience, I haven't had that many fights, and you just saw I went three strong rounds. I could have done a few more too. He's a, he's a good, decent sized name. Do you feel that this is a great win for you to sort of push you up further in your career? Maybe yeah, good. of course. Like he's he's got a decent name. He's beaten a few guys in the UFC. Eh? Like knocked out a few people, but um, it, there was never a question about my skill set. I've always had a, my coaches believed in me more than I believe in myself, really. They just put it in my brain. So I've always had a high skill set, train with Rob Whittick all the time. So I know where I am, but I just got to prove it on the stage. It's easy to train and be good in the gym, but to get in the cage and do it is another thing. And I just showed that, proved to myself that I can do it. So what's the plan going forward? How quickly would you like to get back in there? Mate, I just want to go home. I've got two-week quarantine coming through. I enjoy it for a week, week and a half, we like eat a lot of food, but I just want to get better first as well. I don't want to just jump, keep jumping in. I've got a lot of gaps to fill. If, man, there's no easy fight in the UFC. I can't just keep jumping and say, oh, I'm the best because I won one fight. I've got to keep getting better. So whatever the coaches think, we'll go back, regroup, and we'll see what, see what happens from there. So you enjoy it for a week, a week and a half. How are those last couple of days? Hey? How are the last couple of that days? That last weekend, mate, you look, and there's the whole Darling Harbour there. You're like, mate, stuff you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the, the quarantine's not that hot. It's very low in Australia, so maybe they're doing the right thing. Yeah, true. Congrats, man. Thank you. I know you said, or your record, you know, there aren't a lot of professional fights in here, but I know you want to come out and you want to get that win in your debut. But how sweet is it now getting that reaffirmation that you do belong when you do get a good win out there? Yeah, it, it's very, a very good feeling, but um, I think I needed that loss, to be honest, to put my head... Like, I was always a hard worker, always trained hard, but that, that focus, that focus you need to compete at a high level, it's not just in MMA, it's in any sport. Those NBA players, those rugby league players, you have to have a strong, focused mindset to get to that next level. So I needed that loss so I can go home, reevaluate everything and learn that losing is part of the sport. It's the only way to get better, so... Um, I'm not going to say that's what I didn't want to happen. So, I th you know, I think that loss done a lot for me. So, yeah. And like you said, you, you're working with incredible fighters over there as well. What were some of the things that they told you after that loss coming into this fight to prepare you to get back on the, the, the winning track? Was there any particular thing that they said to you to kind of just, you know, forget the loss, focus on the future? You know, what sort of things did they tell you that kind of prepared you for this fight? Yeah, just, just my coaches. Like, obviously, losing is part of the sport, you know, so... But just my coaches, they just put in my head like, man, you just got to be in the moment. You got to go in, you got to enjoy the fight. If you don't enjoy the, the obviously this fight week's stressful, the fight's stressful, but um, you got to, this is a crazy sport, you got to find a way to enjoy it. You got to enjoy every moment. My coach put in my head, mate, you just got to go in and fight. Be in the moment, fight. Don't worry about what happens before. And you get caught with one punch of those little MMA gloves, you're done. It doesn't matter who hits you, you know? So, be in the moment and have a dig. And like, you know, and definitely, you know, as the fights start to, you know, add up, you'll get more and more experience. But when you look at what today does, where do you feel in your overall skill set? How good are you or how good do you think you will be? On a scale of like one to ten, where do you feel you are on the range of your skill set now and where you think you will be at one point? I, I, don't, I can't say where I am. I'm, I'm pretty good. Like, my skill set is pretty high level, you know, but I got my coach, Alex Prates from Gracie Smith and Grage, grappling MMA coach. He's, he's killed every day, hard sessions, grinding sessions. He's pushing me to the next level. And um, he's really good for my mindset, Alex. 
he made sure of his game plan. I stuck to it, you know. Yeah. I'm a fighter. I want to go punch the person in the head. I want to knock him out. But he put it in my mindset the whole week. You got to stick to what we have, you know. I got my my boxing coach Brian Doyle, and um, and Justin Fitzgerald from Stand Strong, and my wrestling coach Andrew Canadley. They're just building me every single day. There's no fun sessions. We play a bit of basketball before to have a bit of fun, but um, just hard, grueling sessions, you know. It's, we just, we just, the sky's the limit. We just got to keep getting better. My coach told me it's just um, that's 40% of your potential. So I'll give you that. And when you look at the rest of 2021, what sort of goals are you setting for yourself for the rest of the year? Yeah, obviously I want to have at least one more fight. But um, I want to go back to the gym when I get home, keep grinding, trotting along, so I can build that skill set. I've got, got some animals in my division. So but if I want to get to that next level, just got to keep pushing through. Congrats on the win. Thank you very much.